What's up, ladies and gentlemen? Universal Mastery. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Now, if for some reason you don't know me, if you're new, let me give you a little bit of an understanding of what I do here. What I do here is I break down the occult sciences to a very practical level so that you can simply use them and apply them in your day-to-day -day life and get real, actual results with what it is that I teach on my YouTube channel simply by applying your observation and awareness, okay? Let me give you a little bit of a perspective of who I am just so that you know who you're getting this information from because obviously that's something that's important to understand whenever you're taking in information from somebody. My name is Jeremiah Schwartz. I am a professional occultist. I'm fully initiated in the entirety of the Kabbalistic tree. I'm studied when it comes to the 22 major arcana of the tarot deck associated with that same tree. And I'm also studied when it comes to planetary energies in direct connection with astrology. Okay? So, what is the topic of our today's video? Okay? Well, this is going to definitely be an interesting topic. Mainly because, and I know I've actually said that I think for the past couple of videos, this is going to be an interesting topic. And the truth is, I mean, they are interesting topics. I mean, there's not a lot of people talking about these subjects or these topics. So, you know, here you have me who's talking about them. So once again, the topic of our today's video is for sure interesting. Now, what exactly is it that we're going to be discussing? So this is a common, common question that I've been getting uh, many times over especially, you know, associated with my YouTube channel, associated with my Patreon, specifically for the top tier, which is the Universe B Vampire tier, where I turn you into a Universe B Vampire, energetically speaking. So I've had a lot of people that have been studying these vampire concepts that have been consuming the information and the value that I've been sharing publicly on my YouTube channel. And there are people that are asking, well, how do I make myself a vampire? Can I make myself a vampire in my own right? Do I need to have your service to turn myself into a universe B vampire? Or can I do this myself? Can I do this on my own? Okay, so I'm going to give you the truth behind this energetic universe B vampire concept. So if you want to know a little bit more about what I'm going to be talking about, this is your video. Stay tuned. Okay, so let's go into it. So the reality is, if you do your research, if you've been around in regards to your occult studies, your spiritual studies, more so towards the darker side, you're going to come across a lot of different types of occult practitioners, a lot of different types of occult teachers. This is a fact. You'll come across a lot of teachers. Now, some of these teachers are going to couch what they say in a way that makes you think that you're not capable of doing it yourself, okay? I don't really need to mention any names because it's obvious once you see these types of people. Okay, just use your intuition and use your common sense. But as I was saying, you will always come across certain types of teachers, certain types of people in your life that will try to act as mentor figures, and you may gain a lot of value from them. Okay, there may be a lot of things that you can take in that are going to offer you value, but then you also want to balance it out with the aspects of what they teach that maybe isn't true for you, that maybe is not right in regards to you getting to your personal highest evolutionary potential. So you want to discard the aspects of what your teacher is teaching you that don't serve you, and that goes for me included, okay? Not 100% of what I say and what I teach is going to resonate with you. Okay, for some of you, there are going to be higher percentages of what information I give out and what I teach that you're going to resonate with. And then for others, there's going to be lower percentages 
And even this entire concept goes seasonally. Okay, so there's going to be certain seasons where you're more drawn towards my type of YouTube occult content and what I teach and what I practice. And then there's going to be other seasons where maybe you're not as gravitated towards what it is that I'm teaching. And this is natural. This is called the evolutionary process of anything. Okay, so once again, when you come across somebody that couches what they do in a way, whereas if it's like they want to become a dictator, or if they couch what they do in such a way where they say, you are not capable of what I'm able to do, and I'm the only one that can do what it is that you want to you, so therefore you have to spend your money and purchase my products. Okay, that's the only way you can get to your highest evolutionary potential in regards to the occult field and the dark sciences that go behind it. Once again, you will come across teachers that present their information and present their teachings, even from a scientific perspective, in that exact way, in that exact manner. So you always want to be aware of that. Okay, you always want to be aware of who you're absorbing information from. And make sure you're aware that whatever it is that someone else has energetically achieved, has energetically accomplished, and has done, you have the exact same potential to do the exact same thing and even go beyond that. Now, does that mean you're going to do that in this lifetime? Does that mean you're going to do that in many lifetimes? Absolutely not. Okay, the reality is, is you listening to this most likely are not going to get to your highest soul's evolutionary potential in this lifetime. The reality is most people in regards to their occult studies and their occult practices do not get to their highest potential in today's time specifically, okay? Right now with the period of evolution that we're in, with it being the Kali Yuga, the majority of the population the majority of people that are consuming my content even, if I'm going to be honest, are not going to get to their highest evolutionary potential. Now, is that a bad thing? No, it's not. It's just the process of evolution itself and it's a natural ebb and it's a natural flow, okay? But is there going to be people that listens to my content and take in some of my information that are going to achieve their highest evolutionary potential? Absolutely. That's literally why I'm sitting here doing what I'm doing. There are wolves that exist among sheep. Now, is it wrong to be a sheep? Absolutely not. Is it wrong to be a wolf? Absolutely not. There are two different polarities to the entire evolutionary process. Okay. So you always want to be aware of that. Okay. No matter what polarity it is that you're attached to or whatever you fall into, you do have the same potential as anyone else has to get to your highest evolutionary potential, which from an occult perspective uh, represents traveling through the entire spiritual self-development process of hidden initiation to eventually break yourself out of the Kabbalistic multiverse that has been holding you in and then taking control of that same Kabbalistic multiverse. Okay, and going beyond it. Okay, so everyone has this potential. Once again, what I need to make clear is the reality is is most people are not going to get to that potential in this lifetime or even many other lifetimes, you know, until we shift into different ages within uh, the mass collective itself, within the planet itself. Okay, there's different cycles of evolution. So with that being understood. When it comes to what I teach and when it comes to me saying what it is that I say in regards to having a vampiric energy field and then on the other end with me having a top tier, tier four Patreon service that can energetically change you into a universe B vampire, which means you carry that same energetic body that I installed within you for that service. Even though I offer that service, even though I make good money from that service, does that mean that is the only way that you can become a universe B vampire? Okay. Does that mean 
that I am the only person on YouTube or on the planet that is able to do that to your energetic structure, okay? The answer is absolutely not, okay? The answer is absolutely not. For example, you have Einstein who developed the concept and the principles that formulated the light bulb, okay? Since the light bulb has been formulated, although it originated from Einstein, now we have all different types of lights that have been designed, created from a similar concept as to what Einstein presented way back in the day, and now it's been upgraded and it's been improved, and this is the process of evolution. So just because I am a high level, a cult initiate who has the psychic ability to change your energetic structure, which has been shown and proven by the people that have received the service. Just because I can do that, does that mean I'm the only person that can do that? Absolutely not. How do you think I did it? How do you think I did it to myself? Okay. I mean, it, this is common sense at the end of the day. So long story short, how do you turn yourself into a vampire? So the, the first part of the question is, is, you know, the first part of the question was, can you turn yourself into a vampire? Absolutely. I mean, it's, there's literally uh, an evolutionary energetic initiatory process as, uh, that is in direct correspondence to transforming your energy field to be more universe be dominant, which is directly associated with the non-being, okay? It's the subjective realm eliminating your sense of self-importance and eliminating your ego. Okay, the more you do that, the more vampiric you become, especially if you apply other types of occult practices simultaneously with destroying your ego. Okay, and I'll explain a little bit. Obviously, if you want the higher level information, you can join the Patreon top tier, tier four, the vampire service. But long story short, the way that you develop your energy field to be more universe B dominant is by approaching universe B, okay? You first have to approach the area of the multiverse that consists of the most dark matter energy and dark energy in general because that is obviously going to be the realm where it puts pressure, tension, and you could even say certain levels of suffering on your ego, on the program that is within your mind that tries to distract you away from your soul's highest evolutionary potential. So once again, when you go into universe B, which is dangerous, you know, there are a lot of um, risks that you take when you decide you're going to start stepping into universe B, which is the darker side of uh, evolutionary self-development. Although there's risks, just like with any instinctual, profound art, for example, like martial arts, boxing, um, you know, rock climbing, anything in that nature, there are always going to be risks, okay? Which means the risks are going to present challenges, which in the occult field are going to be looked at as initiations where basically you're, di you're directly dealing with your unconscious and your subconscious mind. And as long as you have enough of an awareness of what you're going through and overall what it's doing to you and having an intention of getting to your highest potential and maintaining that intent, then you will make it through those risky situations, those dangerous and challenging situations and gain power from them. Okay. Now, if you're not as advanced and you're not as aware of your own psychology, of your unconscious and your subconscious, there's a high potential you may get lost within your own unconscious and subconscious and not be aware of why what is happening to you is happening to you. Therefore, during your experience in Universe B, as it's supposed to be an initiation, what you're actually doing is you're allowing yourself 
to be consumed by your own fear, which once again comes from the unconscious and the subconscious, which can also be looked at as the unknown, because you don't understand what you're going through is making you stronger. Okay? It's like it's like you've never swam before. Okay? You've never swam a day in your life. You have two choices. Okay? Let's say you're on the edge of a boat. Okay? And you've never swam a day in your life and you're in the ocean. You jump into the water. You have two choices in that moment. You've never swam a day in your life. You can either freeze in fear and potentially drown because you're not moving, you're not creating enough uh, energy to stay afloat using your hands and your feet, kicking them around. That's one choice. Or you jump in the water and you start moving, trying different ways of moving your body in the water for the first time that then produces a result of you staying afloat. Therefore, swimming. Okay. There are going to be people that do not know how to swim in this hypothetical, in this hypothetical example that I'm giving. When they jump off the boat, they are going to freeze and they're going to stay frozen and drowned. Okay. Then there's going to be people that jump off the boat and start kicking their legs around trying different te techniques of moving their body around and find a way to stay afloat longer than the person who sat there and froze, okay? So what I'm trying to show is the concept of how the own unconscious and subconscious can destroy somebody due to that person not being aware of their own psychology and their own unconscious and subconscious not being aware that what it is that's putting pressure on them, what it is that's destroying their sense of self-importance and their ego is actually meant to help them evolve into a new state of being. Okay? So this is important information to understand. Now, it's important that I brought this up because when you're in universe B, once again, you're dealing with those dark energies. You're dealing with energies, dark energies, which also is associated with supernatural dark spirits, okay, these energies are going to test you. They are going to literally attack you. Now, you can look at it from a perspective of paranoia and then freak yourself out and turn the, turn the other cheek and never go back and then forever be a slave to your own unconscious subconscious and supernatural spirits, dark energies. Or you can allow the attack to take place you can observe the experience and allow those forces to take away from you what is not necessary for you, be it your ego, your sense of self-importance, all the illusions that you're attached to, okay? So when it comes to transforming yourself in a vampire, excuse me, transforming yourself into a vampire to be more universe B dominant, first it's going to require you to get into universe B which means you have to approach the dark energy aspects of spiritual self-development to do that in the first place, okay? There are many different ways you can do that, but that is a necessary requirement, okay? Now, the second aspect to transforming your energy field to be more universe be dominant has to do with you being okay with dying to yourself over and over and over and over again until you continuously wake up and essentially rebirth yourself into new states of awareness that are closer and closer and closer to the non-being, closer and closer and closer to the void, to the state of nothingness, okay? Because then you're linking your awareness into the quantum vacuum where anything you do when it comes to occult practices or intention is set into the quantum vacuum that then finds a way to become manifest. Okay? It finds a way to become manifest because your new energetic state of being is universe B, which is backwards from universe A. So you exist as a dark energy that is vampiric, that consumes energy, which fuels your intent 
that gets dumped into the quantum vacuum and then finds its natural path of manifestation and then becomes a physical reality. And once again, the process to becoming a vampire, the process to becoming more universe be dominant, energetically speaking, requires you to be able to die to yourself over and over and over again, eliminating your sense of self-importance, eliminating your ego, and eliminating all the different attachments that you were holding on to and grasping onto that you thought were actually real and you thought were serving you, and you have to die to those, okay? You have to completely die to those over and over and over again, stepping once again into new states of non-being, which once you exist in the non-being, once your energy field is more programmed with dark energy, and dark matter energy, then what happens is you start to take on energetic qualities of vampiric energy fields, similar to a black hole in space. You go through so much dark energy that's built up on your energy field, on your soul, that it eventually collapses and turns itself into a black hole, which constantly pulls in energy, which leaves you in a state of full receptivity, leaves you in a state of full reception, which is vampiric in nature. So once again, the main concept that you need to understand for this video is that it requires you to die to yourself over and over and over again, because the only thing keeping you back from becoming a real energetic universe be vampire that has power and can create manifest reality from the quantum vacuum is your own sense of self-importance and your own ego. This is why in the Hollywood movies, vampires are depicted as sleeping in coffins. Okay, It's because that is subtle symbolism that the vampire is the living dead which represents from a human perspective, a human who dies over and over and over to themselves with the intent of increasing their own evolutionary power. So it's not like you're dying to your sense of self-importance and you're dying to your ego over and over and over again for some higher good, for some source uh, to dissolve yourself into source and erase from the multiverse forever. That would be more so the Buddha path. Okay, that would be a completely different concept and a completely different intention than a universe be vampire. The vampire dies to themselves over and over and over with the intent of gaining more power and more evolutionary progress and potential. Okay, completely different. So, the key in regards to turning yourself into a vampire was once again getting yourself into universe B, which I'm not going to discuss right here. This will be stuff that I discuss on my Patreon. Um, that's the first key. Then the second key is to start working with universe B vampiric types of energies. Okay, so what does that represent? Now, there are so many different types of dark energies that have taken on spiritual forms, which you could also look at as uh, close to archetypal types of energies. So, so, for example, you have 72 different well-known, well-energetically established Ars Goetic demons, which are dark energy in nature. And out of those 72, there's at least five of them that are directly associated with vampirism, that are directly associated with vampiric types of attributes and qualities. So what I would recommend if you're trying to become a vampire is starting to work with, invoke, and take the energy, take the attributes, and take the powers from those Ars Goetia from directly dealing with them through an example, the art of invocation. That's one example of how you can download these vampiric 
energy qualities into yourself while you're in universe B, okay? Now, another aspect is through a profound form of initiation, which is directly associated with clipothic initiation, the universe B aspect of clipothic initiation. Okay, so a lot of people don't know, but with clipothic initiation, you can look at it as similar to you have the tree of life, which is the Sephiroth, and then underneath you have the clipoth. And then with the tree of life and the clipoth, there is both a front side and then there is both a back side to both trees. Okay, so the person who's initiating through the clipoth is initiating through the backside of the clipothic tree, similar to as a universe B occultist who's initiating through the tunnels of set from the uh, the top Sephirothic tree. It's the backside of the Sephiroth. Okay, so if you look at the clipothic tree, you're clearly going to see that the first two spheres on that tree are called Nama, and then the other one's called Gamaliel. Now, Nama is associated with the archdemon of Nama, and Gamaliel is associated with the archdemoness of Lilith, and they're both demonesses. Now, if you do some research on these spheres, or on Lilith primarily, because Nama is just another aspect of Lilith, that's why mythologically they're associated with, uh, they're associated as being sisters, or Nama is the daughter of Lilith. If you do some research on Lilith, you're clearly going to find out that Lilith is the queen of vampires. She is also the mother of demons. She's, she's also associated with the mother of abortions. Okay? She's a feminine, dark energy, vampiric type of demonic force. Okay? So, what I'm trying to make clear is that the beginning of the clipothic tree starts with two fundamental specifically placed entities that are vampiric in nature okay and if you think that's random and you think somebody one day said oh we're going to place nama there we're going to place lilith there this sphere is going to be associated with the moon this one's going to be associated with the dark earth if you think that was random placement and if you think somebody just woke up one day and on a whim decided, oh, this is going to be with associated with Nama, this is going to be associated with Lilith, then you're fooling yourself. Because what I'm trying to make very clear is that when you get into clipothic initiation, which is much more dangerous than tunnels of set initiation, which is way more intense than tunnels of set initiation. So before you listening to this, just decide you want to start initiating into the clip off, take a second to breathe and take a second to really contemplate and study what you're about to be getting yourself into before you just jump into it thinking you're going to be a vampire and thinking you're going to gain powers in the in the uh, universe B side of the clip off. Okay, just make sure you're, you're aware of that. But the reason why the first two spheres are associated with vampiric feminine demonic forces is because in order to even travel through the clipothic realm universe b you have to be a vampire okay to exist in universe b constantly and consistently and permanently you have to be a vampire you have to be able to consume energy around you and that also includes death energy okay the gate to get to the other side of the tree is Daph, the 11th hidden sphere, which is connected to death. And in order to stay in the other side of that gate, you need to constantly be consuming death energy. Once again, this is why vampires in Hollywood sleep in coffins. This is why they're known as the living dead. Not only does it have to do with the psychology of dying to your ego, embracing completely your unconscious and subconscious, and from that over time reshaping your energetic structure all the way down to the soul fundamentals and the soul level. But it has to do with being able to even stay in universe B permanently or consistently. Okay, so vampires are extremely important. 
And this has been a concept that has existed for ages, which means if somebody says that they've invented this concept, or if somebody tries to put an LLC on being a vampire or having the ability to transform other people's energy fields into vampire bodies, then that person is fooling themselves. Okay. And you don't need to, you know, you don't need to agree with me. You can believe what you want to believe. But once again, this energetic concept of being able to exist in universe B and pull in energies from all different types of sources has literally existed for th- hundreds of thousands of years and just happens to be in our today's time. We call it vampires. Okay. In different cultures, in different, uh, civilizations, this was called different things, okay? In our today's time, in our century today, we call it vampires. And obviously, it has energetic, uh, profound concepts to it. I mean, you see it all the time being uh, shown in big screen movies, shown in Hollywood. For example, you have Batman, okay? We have this new movie coming out right now in this year called Morbius, okay? Movies dedicated to vampires, okay? So it is a very powerful concept, and we do see how necessary it really is to be able to achieve extremely high levels of occult uh, self-development and your own personal evolutionary process, okay? Once again, for any high level occultist who's been to universe B of the clipothic realm, you have to be a vampire to do that. Okay? Just being in universe B in general starts instantly teaching you certain properties of being a vampire. Now, does that mean that you're fully going to embrace that necessarily? Not not necessarily. You can get yourself into universe B and not fully understand what it means to be a vampire. And you can energetically trick yourself and then find yourself stuck feeling like you're in a position fighting against evil. When a real vampire, we don't fight evil, we become evil, and then we use evil on what we think is going against our personal evolution and the process of the planet's evolution simultaneously is what naturally is a byproduct of that. So to the real vampire, the real energetic universe B vampire, we are the evil. Okay? We're the evil that exists within all different types of other spectrums of energy and we have a clear sense for the natural process of evolution, that feminine process, that dark mother feminine process of evolution, and we destroy what comes against that, first of all, in our own personal realities, in our own personal lives, and then that naturally aids the planet's evolution. This is how a real vampire operates. There is no good and evil to the real vampire. There there just is food, okay? There's just energy you can take from things that are not in alignment with evolution. So once again, that brings up the main point of the video, which is, can you turn yourself into a vampire? You absolutely can, okay? You absolutely can. Do you need my service to do it for you? Absolutely not. If I, once again, if I sat here and I told you I'm the only one that can do this for you and you need to pay me huge amounts of money, for me to do it for you, then I would be lying to you and I'd be doing myself a disservice. Okay? Now, here's the reality Is it beneficial to have someone that has the ability, like myself, to change your energetic structure to be more universe B dominant, giving you a vampiric energy body? Is that valuable? Absolutely. Because what I'm doing is I'm speeding up the process of you being able to energetically transform yourself into a universe B dominant being. 
So rather than you having to figure out what exactly, what exact practices you need to do, what types of spirit, uh, types of uh, spiritual forces you need to invoke and start to take powers from, rather than you having to uh, figure out how to open the gate of death and get yourself into Universe B and do all these different types of things and learn the principles of what it means to be a vampire, to even get yourself to start becoming one. Rather than doing that, when you get a service, I perform the service on you being a high-level, occult, clipothic, initiated vampire. Myself, I download my energy field in you using certain techniques, certain occult principles that I've created myself. Okay. And what that does is it starts to program your energy field in a very similar way that my energy field is programmed, which naturally puts you on that process of getting yourself into universe B. Okay. So it literally cuts so much of the bullshit that you would have to go through to even figure out how to start developing yourself to be more so universe B dominant because I'm telling you right now, it is not easy to turn yourself into a vampire. Now, does that mean that you're just going to wake up and you're a complete vampire? No. When I perform that service on you, you have to go through the process of turning yourself into a vampire. The only difference is it will naturally be unconscious and subconscious and you will naturally go through it from getting the service because I am a vampire. I am a universe B dominant energetic being. And if I put that energy field in you, you may not be conscious of exactly what I've done to change myself into a vampire, going through clipothic initiation, all those types of things, which has taken years to do. So it's going to be unconscious and subconscious for you, taking you through the exact process that is necessary for you, for your energy body, for your spirit and your soul to start being more universe B dominant, all from getting a vampire service from me. So this is where that service can be extremely valuable. And also on top of that, I give extra techniques that you can use to speed that process up. But at the end of the day, do you need that service to turn yourself into a vampire? Absolutely not. Now, is it likely that when you go to try to turn yourself in a vamp into a vampire that you're going to successfully be able to do it? It's not. And I'm just being honest. Okay. It's, a, it's an extremely excruciatingly painful process. Okay. Once again, the vampires are associated with the living dead. Okay, they hang upside down. Okay, what is that associated with? The tree underneath the tree, the tree of death. Okay, so if you're not ready to go through those deeper dark energy types of experiences on your own without an already pre programmed energetic influence from a service like mine then that can be dangerous, okay? You may not be successful in doing that, okay? And this is just me honestly speaking. This is why my service is so popular, okay? This is why so many people take advantage of it and people notice when they get the service, over time, they get better at consuming energy. And also, once again, I have practices that are associated with the top tier service that teach you techniques that no one else is teaching that you can use to increase your universe B vampiric energy field, okay? And if you don't want the service, by all means, don't get it. And if you want to do it on your own, I encourage you, go ahead, try it on your own, but just make sure you know what you're getting yourself into because it's not a joke. It's not something that you can just, that you want to just think, oh, I'm going to do this because I heard what, you know, what, what types of powers you can get from it. I'm just going to jump into it tomorrow. Just be aware, you know, I'm not going to stop you. If that's what you want to do, go ahead. Go do that, okay? Whatever path you choose, it is what it is. But just be aware that it is a it is a challenging process, and you very will 
likely will find yourself pulled into some form of a universe B initiations. And if you're not aware of what universe B initiations are and what they can do and what comes with that, then that can be very excruciating to the average person's psychology, okay, which affects their mental health, their mental health, their physical health, their emotional health, their spiritual being, and many other types of things. But once again, the truth is there are going to be certain types of individuals, certain types of people that are going to take the information that I share and also take other pieces of information that they've learned from other people, other sources and things of that nature, and they're going to run with that information in their own rights and get to their own personal highest potential from that. That's how I got to where I'm at, okay? I never dealt with any occult orders. I never had a dictator that I had to talk to. I never had a leader that I had to talk to. I never had people that I had to communicate with that told me what type of rank I was and what I was capable of doing and where I needed to stay, okay? What I did is I used my own knowledge, I used my own awareness of my psychology, and I went to the source of supernatural spirits that are known for causing and triggering these initiatory types of experiences. Now, when I when I say that, I'm not saying that lightly. I took it serious, okay? I took it to an advanced degree, doing things that most people would not do, experiencing things most people don't experience physically, and that's why I got to where I got. Now, once again, am I the only person that can do that? And, and am I the only person that's going to do that? No, I'm not. The reality is, is most people don't, and most people won't, but there are going to be one out of millions that will do it, okay? And I'm also aware of that, okay? And that's great. You know, if you want to get to your highest potential, there you go. You know, I encourage it. Why not, okay? I'm not afraid of someone else's power, okay? I mean, the point is to bring evolutionary change first within the self, within the own being, and then affect the planet. That's what I'm about. That's why I do what I do. I could care less about what the next man is doing and what they think of me and try to create illusionary enemies based on my own sense of self-importance and my own ego. Oh, I'm going to make this person my enemy because they're a threat to my business. That's not how I operate. That's pathetic. That's, that's pathetic. That's how a fool operates. And that's embarrassing. Okay, as a, as a person who's in the occult field, if you operate that way, that's embarrassing. And that doesn't even go for just the occult field. That goes for any field where there's success. Okay, when you reach a certain level of success, that's not the perspective that you see things as, unless you're digging yourself into a hole that you don't realize you're digging. So there are going to be people like that. It's a part of the process. Okay, so once again, this was to bring some clarity in regards to the subject of vampires and covering the fact that can you turn yourself into a vampire, which I made very clear, and the answer was yes. And then the other aspect of what to expect if you plan on turning yourself into a vampire and why it would be beneficial if you have someone like me that can do it for you, okay? Uh, once again, not everyone's going to gravitate with that, and that's completely fine. Whatever path it is that you take, that's the path that you thought it was that you needed to take, and that's, that is what it is, okay? So, ladies and gentlemen, that's where I'm going to wrap it up. That's where I'm going to leave it. If you think this video was valuable, definitely make sure you hit the thumbs up. It's going to be right down there. Definitely make sure you hit that thumbs up button. Also, come down here and hit that notification bell because if you watch my content and you get value from it, most importantly, and you have not yet hit the notification bell, then what are you actually doing? Okay, make sure you hit the notification bell. Okay, oftentimes I will post content that is exactly what you need to hear when you need to hear it. Okay, then the next most important thing that you need to do is come right down here and hit the subscribe button because I obviously love to see my subscribers shoot through the roof. And if you've been taking in my videos and my content and you have not yet hit the subscribe button, then you're making a very big mistake. Okay. So definitely make sure you take advantage of that. Okay. So now 
if you know anybody that is interested in this type of information and interested in this type of content, you have my full permission to copy and paste this YouTube link and send it to any family, friends, or social media platforms that may be interested and could potentially gain value from it. Go ahead and do that. Let's spread this content. Let's spread this information like a wildfire. Okay. Um, let's see here. Now, the next thing I'd like to say is come down here and follow me on Instagram. This is my Instagram handle. I'll spell it out for you. It's J E R underscore four seven seven Instagram handle right there. Follow me on Instagram. Oftentimes I will post very unique posts that you may find uh, valuable. And then oftentimes before I go live on YouTube, I will upload to my Instagram story, giving you a most likely three to two hour heads up of when I'm going live before I go live. So it's like your extra notice. So once again, all of that, if you follow my Instagram page right there, okay? I'll leave that there. Now, if you would like to gain access to a private Facebook community, you can simply drop down in the YouTube description right here, scroll down just a little bit, and you're gonna see there is a link right there. And that link says, or right above the link, I should say, says Facebook community. You're not gonna miss it. Click that link, and then it will take you to another pinned link that gives you access to request to join the private Facebook group. Now, this private Facebook group is full of people that are interested in, in the occult in regards to the study, the practice, and all those types of things. So you very well may find yourself in a group of like-minded individuals. So if that's something you're interested in, right now there are over 300 members in the group and the group is active, request to join and I will add you in. Okay? Now, this is the most important thing that I need to take your awareness to. Once again, drop down in that YouTube description the very first link of the YouTube description right next to it says Patreon because obviously that is where you can find my Patreon, okay? Now on my Patreon, I have exclusive occult content that is not on my public YouTube channel, okay? Tons of occult content ranging all the way from live streams all the way to blog posts where I talk about uh, spirits and I give certain types of associations and descriptions of spirits that you may have never heard before that can offer you a lot of value in your own personal journey. Um, I talk about certain types of occult concepts as well as rituals that can give you a lot of uh, valuable perspectives in regards to advanced occultism that once again, most people do not know about but is being used on a daily basis by Illuminatis and things in that nature. Um, it ranges from information on the Kabbalistic tree being the Sephiroth and the Klipothic tree. So if that's something you want to study and you want to gain a much more solid perspective of, once again, all on the Patreon. Then for tier three and up, you have access to an entire magic training course where I show you all the tools that you need to have to be successful in the course. I teach you how to energetically link yourself to the tools, and then we go through the entire system of occult magic, starting with all the dead magicians, moving into the angelic forces, moving into the demonic forces, and then casting a low magic spell at the very end of the magic training course, where I actually show the real life results of the spell at the end of that video where I teach you how to cast a low magic spell. Very valuable course and I demonstrate it on camera so that you actually know what you're doing and you know how to do it, okay? That's for tier three and up. Then obviously for tier four, this is gonna be the most popular tier on the Patreon service for many different reasons. This is the Vampire, Universe B Vampire service, okay? So on the 29th of every single month, that has a 29th, which is every month except for one. 29 because 2 plus 9 equals 11, which opens up the death doorway. This is a service that I perform, and as I perform it, I document it on the Patreon so that you can see the process that I go through. And what I do is I take my energetic, vampiric energy field, energy body, and I download it into the new participants of the top tier service 
which then changes the energy field of the participants to be more receptive, more vampiric, more magnetic, so that they start being able to consume energy from the world around them, primarily from chaos, which also includes the chaotic aspects of their own being, okay? Which over time increases their energy fields, which also increases their power, okay? And then they have access to permanently exist within universe B without getting harmed within universe B, but rather getting the benefits from it, okay? Which is the darker aspects of the multiverse itself. So I'm gonna leave that there. If you're interested in becoming a universe B vampire and taking advantage of it, tier four is your tier, okay? I'm gonna leave that there. Ladies and gentlemen, with that being said, I would love to give a special shout out to all of the Patreon members, specifically for taking your knowledge and your practices to that other side, okay? That's always appreciated, okay? Now, this is the second link that I wanna take your awareness to right down in the YouTube description. At the second link, this is where you can book a tarot card reading with me. Now, what's unique in regards to these tarot card readings is I can literally pinpoint exactly where you are located on the Kabbalistic tree. So because I'm a professional occultist and I understand the Kabbalistic tree very well, being the front, the back, the bottom, all the different aspects of it, I can literally pinpoint where you listening to this right now are in regards to your own initiatory process on that Kabbalistic tree because what most people don't understand is that the Kabbalistic tree is something that is mostly unconscious and subconscious to the average individual. So most people don't know about the Kabbalistic tree and even if they did, they don't really know about the structure of initiation that it goes through. So basically what I'm saying is that you are somewhere most likely traveling through that Kabbalistic tree right now. You're somewhere on it, okay? That's a fact. You're somewhere, okay? And I can use my tarot cards to pinpoint where you're located. And then I can tell you based on where you're located, what you're experiencing, what you're feeling in the present moment, what to expect moving into your near and long-term future, okay? Now, I've done over well over 200 readings right now. It's a very profound reading I do, and that's why people are taking full advantage of it. The service hasn't even been out for a year yet, okay? Uh, so once again, if that's something you want to take advantage of, second link in the YouTube description, okay? Now, we are going to move into the third link in the YouTube description. This is where you can become a YouTube member, okay? So when you become a YouTube member, what you primarily have access to is you have access to a sequence of emojis, exclusive emojis, that can be used in a psychic warfare manner. So what this means is that if you use these emojis in a certain configuration, you can actually cause psychic damage to a specific target, okay? And that's exactly how I designed it, and I personally created the emojis myself, which are also linked into my tarot deck, which taps into tarot magic, and also taps into the metaverse because it's all online, all ran through YouTube, which taps into the psychic aspects of the metaverse, which are also very powerful. The more people that use it, the more powerful it becomes. So if you would like to use psychic warfare in the most simple manner possible using emojis, then look into becoming a YouTube member at the third link. I have an entire YouTube video that describes exactly how to use the emojis. The YouTube video is on my public channel and it's titled, in parentheses, Members Only, followed by Psychic Warfare Program. If you go to my public channel, you scroll down, you'll find that video. That will educate you, okay? Now, the other things that you have access to as a YouTube member is when I go live on YouTube, which I oftentimes do, your name will appear with a badge next to it and I will always give you a special shout out when you're in the YouTube lives. And you have access to leaving a question every single month that you are a YouTube member that appears in the exact same format as a super chat. And I cover it the exact same way, which means I cover it in the most depth and I guarantee we'll cover it throughout the live stream, okay? So if that's something you're interested in, once again, the third link in the YouTube description. Other than that, ladies and gentlemen, this is where I'm gonna wrap it up. I appreciate all of you and I hope you all have a wonderful rest of the day 
or night, wherever you are. Peace.